Okay, so the round three game, uh, I went to the board to have a look at the pairings and I had to double check and triple check and quadruple check um, my opponent's rating because uh, it were in the under 1500 section and my opponent's rating was quite clearly stated on there 1981 so obviously a little bit quizzical because it's the under 1500 section i'm thinking have they made a mistake in in the typo so i went along and asked the officials um um is that correct this person 1981 and some kind of rationale was given about well no they're not but they are um but and i looked a little bit kind of weird because i thought well if they are then what are they doing in the under 1500 section it's a simple question i mean i wasn't looking to cause any trouble i just was very confused that's like having a under 1500 section and then having loads of grandmasters in there i mean 1981 is near on like some kind of master level what is it candidate ma or local master or whatever national master um so that's a very high level um for them to be estimating that this person is that level no matter how many games they've played something must have triggered the fact that yes they are 1980 1981 we play as white and i'd already resign myself to the fact that i'm not even interested in the game at all uh, i'll play it out but there's no point even if i won i wouldn't be happy because it, what is the point other players are going to be playing this 1981 i don't understand how 1981 can be in an under 1500 tournament so open through i'm just going to blast through it because at the end of the day it's a 1981 and I, I wasn't interested in the game at all brought the knight through captured captured pushed up and pushed onto the pawn developed the knight they captured captured brought the queen through put the check on all simplified simple straightforward stuff brought the bishop down and brought the rook across and we attacked the bishop bishop now sits in this little area here one key area that for me really was this was where if i was looking at it and i was basically saying well any learning from it i would say well i got a bit arty i got too arty in this section here because i was so worried about oh well if i take then i'm gonna he's gonna have like a passport and all that sort of stuff and i shouldn't have even been bothered about any of that because the main power base was him having this knight holding this pawn to court so all i needed to do was take this um, bishop off the board and then if he captures then we can just move the knight wherever or we can actually attack his his knight so that's as simple as it would have been but i got carried away with myself thinking oh he's doing a massive attack um so i actually gave him tempo as you can see the gauge bar showing me doing that it's giving them the tempo type thing so yeah just brought the king up uh, looking to defend and it's making it making it worse because the king's getting further up the board and then the rook comes down and for a brief moment as you can see for a brief moment i did actually when i sat there when i was going i'm not even interested in this I, I was thinking of bringing the bishop here just to block off but then i thought well is he not just going to push his pawn down but then we do have like a momentary kind of check here on the king and some movements that we can um, make yeah so f oops sorry not that one f4 so if we pushed onto the rook then the rook is kind of trapped is it not because it can't go there can't go here can't go there so it is kind of trapped so the smallest of detail but because i was feeling so arty i was like oh i've got to move the king out of the way look at these arty moves here the king comes across and i was just waiting to get squished there was nothing definite i could do now uh, i knew i was going to get checkmated and in the back of my head all the way through i was just going well 1981 what's the point of me playing them i'm gonna get creamed and i resigned at this point because i've had enough sorry for the rant but this is quite to me that is quite serious 
especially if you're really interested in over the ball play. Um, I don't understand what that practice is.